there. Welcome back. My name is Vicki Lynn. So glad you could join me. I follow a plant-based vegan diet, oil-free. And if you saw my thumbnail, you already know I'm doing a Mary's Mini. So I'm just going to show you what I've been eating during my Mary's Mini. Now, I'm not going to show you every meal because I'm going to be honest. I, it, I eat on repetition. Again, because I like that kind of eating and it's super simple and you don't need to see every plate over and over again. I'm just going to show you some of the variations and some of the dishes that I put together this week. Now, if you don't know what a Mary's Mini is, head over to Dr. McDougall's website, the author of The Starch Solution. Um, they describe it perfectly. I'm not going to try to reinvent the wheel, but it is basically taking you back to basics taking everything kind of fun out of food, making it very mundane, so you're just basically nourishing your body, and that way you're not overeating, you're kind of resetting your body. You basically pick a starch, um, and then you just match that starch with a non-starchy vegetable at every meal. You make like a 50-50 plate, half your plate is starch, half the plate is non-starch, and you eat your non-starchy vegetables first, and you eat until you're full. And you can eat like that as much as you want throughout the day, and at the end, I'll let you know how much I actually lost, and we'll just do a little recap on it. So I'm just putting together my breakfast, and I've done some air fried potatoes. And again, doing the Mary's Mini, and this is my first meal. Again, we're gonna do a 50-50 plate. I don't need one of those fancy ones with a line down there. I can figure it out. And then I'm gonna add in my vegetables. And then remember, eat your non-starchy vegetables first. And I have some of my cheese sauce. You could just do salt on your vegetables, salt and pepper, whatever spices you want. But the cheese sauce is compliant, so I made a big batch. There we go. First 50-50 plate. So let's put our lunch together. I have my potato salad that I made in my meal prep, which is just some potatoes that I did in my Instant Pot with some dill pickle, just some mustard, onion, celery. And I think that's gonna be enough. I'll probably add some pepper to it. Now I'm gonna have broccoli. For lunch and then whatever vegetable I have left over I'm going to use for supper. Of course broccoli needs cheese sauce. Well at least I think it needs cheese sauce. And I've been doing some pea tendrils I love pea tendrils, they're so good. But I'm just gonna put a bunch of those on my plate. If you don't do sprouting, I have some in one of my videos. Um, and I will do one where I show like how they grow. They're very simple to do and they're delicious. They're my, again, my favorite. So, there's my lunch. All right, my next meal. I have my mashed potatoes that I meal prepped, and I have my gorgeous kale salad, which I also meal prepped. And this just has a mustard and maple dressing. It is so good. Look how good that is, guys. Delicious. So for this meal, I have my air fried potatoes. And I'm going to have some broccoli. Again, just did it in the microwave. Super simple. And then I'm going to smother it with my cheese sauce. Broccoli is delicious with cheese sauce. And I'm also going to actually today have some seaweed salad. So I love seaweed salad and it's green and it's delicious. So that is this meal. Not sure if I'll get through all of it, but that's where I'm starting. 
Okay, so for breakfast, I'm doing my waffle potatoes, and in real life, I overstuffed the waffle maker, and they didn't come out that well. But we're still going to pull them out and eat them. I mean, they're still good. I like the crunchy part. That's the best part anyway. Mm-hmm. That is the best part. And then just using some mixed vegetables for my 50-50 plate this morning. And I'm actually going to top it off with some sprouts just for some extra goodness. Super easy. And again, guys, you've seen me make those waffle potatoes, potato waffles a hundred times. I got overzealous and tried to put too much potato in the waffle maker. So don't make my mistake, but they're still good. So we're going to eat them. So there you have it. That's kind of what I ate for the last 10 days on my Mary's Mini, believe it or not. I had a lot of great meals. I really enjoyed all of them, to be honest. And I know everybody's wondering, how much did you actually lose doing a Mary's Mini? So my average on a Mary's Mini is about five to seven pounds, give or take. Um, and so this time was the same as usual. I lost about six pounds. But let's preference. You're eating very clean. You're eating, again, super clean. We're not, and we're, and we're keeping it very minimal. So it makes it much easier to lose the weight. You're drinking a lot of water. And again, a lot of times when you first start something, you're gonna lose a water, water loss, okay? We're not losing seven pounds of fat. I'm not saying that just so everybody's aware. I'm just saying that that's what my scale said. And that's an average for me when I do a 10 days Mary mini. I use it as a, a springboard and it just kind of gets me reinvigorated and gives me the, you know, the oomph to keep going. So you can do your own Mary's mini. You don't have to wait for us to do it together. And don't forget, we have a Facebook group. So come down and join us. We were showing our different plates and we're learning different things to eat. It was actually a lot of fun. We had a really good time in our Facebook group. I actually learned a couple of like great things. So join us in Facebook and again, keep watching and we'll see you in the next one.